The J-20 is a stealth fighter jet serving in the Chinese Air Force. A common question about this fighter is whether the J-20 fighter is stealing from the American F-22 fighter design. In my opinion, the answer is definitely no. And I have a few reasons to believe so. Firstly, the J-20 is a canard plus big delta wing configuration fighter. The F-22 adopts a conventional configuration. This means the two fighters have totally different overall layouts. Their aerodynamic designs are so different that it is not possible to simply steal designs in this area from one fighter to the other. All the aerodynamic controls would be tailored to the vastly different body shape, which would require design teams to totally customize everything suitable to the layout determined. The conclusion is that the body, wings, other aero control surfaces, and software underlying this control mechanism would be unique and could not be copied or stolen from another fighter. It is worth highlighting that the canard layout approaches the high instability design of modern fighters differently compared to conventional fighter jets. Most fighters with a traditional layout would lose effectiveness due to stalling. In J-20's case, a canard can deflect in the opposite direction of the angle of attack, preventing stalling and maintaining control. And a canard design is good for supersonic performance and improving short field landing. Because the approaches are so dissimilar, the control hardware and software designs of the two fighters cannot simply be shared. Secondly, in most cases, modern fighter jets are developed based on the turbofan engine chosen for the project. It is arguable that some Chinese military turbofan engines are based on Western technology, but in J-20's case, the first engine adopted is actually a heavily modified AL-31F from Russia. Later, the J-20 upgraded variant started to adopt the domestically developed WS-10 turbofan. The WS-10 is based on the Western CFM-56 engine design. But clearly, the engine choice has no similarity to the Pratt & Whitney F-119 engine in the F-22 fighter. That means the design of the J-20 is not possibly close to the F-22, as the power plant of the plane has nothing in common in terms of thrust, size, weight, center of weight, and how the engine is supported in the airframe. Even if a team of American engineers worked for the Chinese J-20 project or tried to sell all the secrets to the Chinese, they would need to totally redesign the fighter. With that in mind, it is not possible to just steal the F-22 design and send it to China. Thirdly, the avionics of the J-20 have a difference in many key areas compared with the F-22. One obvious difference is that the F-22 does not have a comprehensive optical or thermal imaging sensor suite. Initially, Lockheed Martin planned to provide one, but later it was dropped from the project. The first such fighter is the F-35. And the J-20 does have a system very similar to the F-35, but the F-22 does not have one to this date. The radar of the J-20 fighter is an active electronic scan array design. The F-22 APG-77 radar was designed a long time ago. Since then, both China and the US have moved into a new age of designing fighter radars. The J-20 does feature an integrated avionics suite matching the overall concept of what the F-22 has, but due to the fact that the J-20 was designed much later than the F-22, information technology hardware like chipsets and software have been through many rounds of upgrades and revamps, it is not possible that the J-20 is copying the much older F-22 avionic hardware and software. Some of the F-22 electronic parts are well known to be totally outdated. They still function as expected, but no one would be copying the outdated parts 20 years later. One question that can't be answered is the stealth design of both the J-20 and the F-22. This is a well-guarded secret. But first of all, the F-22 does have two-dimensional thrust vectoring exhausts, helping to reduce its thermal signature. And the J-20 does not have that yet. The two share some stealth body part features, like parallel alignment of edges. But again, that means the Chinese designers will have to calculate, design, and build all the edges specifically based on the exact details of the J-20 body frame, openings, and covers. Copying the F-22 shape and curve will not help at all. The J-20 has a very different weapon bay and or design. The short-range missile weapon bay is in a similar location to the F-22, but the launcher has a rotating mechanism, rolling the pylon and missile out of the bay, while the F-22 has an outward extendable launcher design. The design of the main weapon bay is quite close. To be fair, every major military power will not hesitate to take whatever advanced technology from another country they consider necessary. It would be naive to say China or the US would never steal someone else's military design. But in the case of the J-20 and the F-22, 
there is just no possibility of stealing technology and slapping it on a fighter jet that is so different. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share and comment. It will really help us developing this channel and bring you more videos about Chinese military news. Thank you.